द टोटल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ मोनोसाइट मोबाइल मैक्रोफाजेस फिक्स टिश्यू मैक्रोफाजेस एंड ए फ्यू स्पेशलाइज एंडोथिलियल सेल्स इन बोन मैरो स्प्लीन एंड लिम्फ नोड इज कॉल्ड रेटिक्यूलर एंडोथिलियल सिस्टम हाउ एवर ऑल और ऑलमोस्ट ऑल दीज सेल्स ऑरिजिनेट फ्रॉम मोनोसाइटिक स्टेम सेल्स देयर फॉर द रेटिक्यूलर एंडोथिलियल सिस्टम इज ऑलमोस्ट सिनोनिमस विद मोनोसाइट मैक्रोफाज सिस्टम ऑल दो द टर्म रेटिक्यूलर एंडोथिलियल सिस्टम इज मच बेटर नोन इन मेडिकल लिटरेचर देन द टर्म मोनोसाइट मैक्रोफाज सिस्टम This system is a generalized phagocytic system located in all tissues especially in the tissue areas where large quantities of particles toxins and other unwanted substances must be destroyed After entering the tissues monocyte becomes macrophages another large portion of monocyte becomes attached to the tissues and remain attached for months or even years until they are called on to perform specific local protective function they have the same capabilities as the mobile macrophages to phagocyte large quantities of bacteria virus necrotic tissues or other foreign particles in the tissues when appropriately stimulated they can break away from their attachments and once again becomes mobile macrophages that respond to chemotaxis and all other stimuli related to inflammatory process thus the body has a widespread monocyte macrophage system in virtually all tissue areas tissue macrophages in the skin and subcutaneous tissues these are also called histiocytes although the skin is mainly impregnable to infectious agent but when the infection begins in the subcutaneous tissues the local tissue macrophages can divide in situ and form still more macrophages then they perform the usual function of attacking and destroying the infectious agents macrophages in the lymph nodes essentially no particulate matter that enters the tissue such as bacteria can be absorbed directly through the capillary membrane into the blood instead if the particulate are not destroyed locally in the tissues they enter the lymph and flow to the lymph nodes located intermittently along the course of the lymph flow the foreign particles are then trapped in the lymph nodes in a meshwork of sinuses lined by tissue macrophages usually the lymph enter the lymph node by the way of afferent lymphatics then flowing through the nodal medullary sinuses and finally passing out the hyalus into the efferent lymphatics that eventually empty to the venous blood large number of macrophages line the lymph sinuses and if any particulate enter the sinus by way of lymph the macrophages phagocytes them and prevent general dissemination throughout the body alveolar macrophages in the lungs another route by which invading organism frequently enter the body is through the lungs Large number of tissue macrophages are present as integral component of the alveolar walls. They can phagocytes particles that becomes entrapped in the alveoli. If the particles are digestible, the macrophage can also digest them and release the digestive products into the lymph. If the particle is not digestible, the macrophages often form a gigant cell capsule around the particulate. until such time that it can be slowly dissolved such capsules are frequently formed around the tuberculosis bacteria macrophages in the liver sinusoids or the cooper cells another route by which bacteria invade the body is through the gastrointestinal tract large number of the bacteria from ingested food constantly pass through the gastrointestinal mucosa into the portal blood before this blood enters into general circulation it passes through the liver sinusoids which are lined with tissue macrophages called the cooper cells these cells form such an effective particulate filtration system that almost none of the bacteria from the gastrointestinal tract pass from the portal blood into the general systemic circulation motion pictures of phagocytosis by cooper cells have demonstrated phagocytosis of a single bacterium in less than 0.01 second macrophages of the spleen and the bone marrow 
If an invading organism succeeds in entering the general circulation, there are other lines of defense by tissue macrophage system, especially by macrophages of the spleen and bone marrow. In both these tissues, macrophage becomes entrapped by reticular meshwork of the two organs and when foreign particles come in contact with these macrophages, they are phagocytosed. The spleen is similar to the lymph nodes except blood is flowing through the tissue spaces of the spleen. In spleen, a small artery penetrates from the splenic capsule into the splenic pulp and terminates in the small capillaries. These capillaries are highly porous allowing whole blood to pass out of the capillaries into the cords of red pulp. The blood then gradually squeezes from the trabecular meshwork of this cord and eventually returns to the circulation through the endothelial walls of the venous sinuses. The trabeculae of the red pulp and the venous sinuses are lined with vast numbers of macrophages. This peculiar passage of the blood through the cord of red pulp provides an exceptional means of phagocyting unwanted debris of blood including especially old and abnormal red blood cells.